<laughs> hey honey, uh, I'm a little nervous, which I, I, I don't get nervous. Uh, I haven't been nervous for a long time, and that's a problem. I, I like being nervous. It means that usually I'm on the cusp of uh, growth. I'm in a place of discomfort, and uh, that, that I learned something new about the world and about myself. Um, so I'm a little nervous, which is good, uh, I think. <laughs> This is an intro video for your library. This is your library that I'm you know, trying to build for you. I, I don't know where it's going to go. It's just everything that I've ever learned. Uh, and I wanted to dump it off somewhere. And I was like, who do I want to speak to? I want to speak to you. Um, you're, you've been in my mind forever, for a long, long time. You've just been a concept in my mind forever. And But I, I always think about you. And so, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is the start of it. It's been a cool journey so far. I've been you know, thinking about doing this for like a few years now. And each time I try to get better and better at the material or at how to shoot it and things like that. So with the launch of the James Webb Telescope, I was like, this is my motivation. I just got to go you know, get this off my chest and just getting comfortable in front of the camera, which is ironic because most of my career is in front of the camera, but in a different respect. I'm usually not speaking right to camera like this uh, or, or to an audience that I, you know, would be so close to me. Uh, so, so, uh, and and then the last year, I haven't uh, you know uploaded anything to your library because I have spent a year learning about my camera and lighting and cinematography and shooting and narrative and story and I traveled around the world and like I shot a bunch just you know terabytes worth of stuff that I'm trying to edit down now and all that. Uh, we've met a lot of amazing people along the way who've been helping with this. Uh, I hired a producer. She's been great. We just hung up. Uh, she kind of you know got me excited for this, and um, I met with. Um, I met with Archwell, which is Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's company, Discovery Plus, and there's like a kids podcast. So like, you know, like a bunch of people are interested and uh, it's just been exciting. You know, what's funny when I, uh, when I went around the world was that uh, even if there was a language barrier, especially in like a place like Japan or you know, Kerala where um, they weren't as uh, well versed in English as say Thailand or Singapore, as soon as I mentioned this idea and they got like the whispers of the words like YouTube, future, daughter, library, people just melted. They like right away knew how to like assemble what I meant. And they were just like, oh my, yes, whatever that is, good, go do it. That's, that's, that's it. So, which was super motivating and inspiring because it like tracks everywhere. It's a common thread. It's like a through line throughout all of humanity, no matter your race, age, gender, weight, height, anything, sexual orientation, it doesn't matter. It's like, it's, it's a common thing to, you know, think about the future and have the clairvoyance and like the prescience to worry about future generations and hope that you, it, it, it's, it's, it's a story that speaks to everyone. There's no one like above this or who can escape it. So that's been really cool. And, but uh, for this intro video, which is going to be long, you're going to learn that I'm <laughs> long winded and have no way to um, abate myself, which I mean, I just learned to live with it. <laughs> you're the one who has to suffer but um the good thing is that um oh i just want to set some rules for how the channel could go what i'm kind of thinking it could be like uh if i were just to you know dream and imagine wildly what it could be like with uh you know uh with like unlimited upside or at the very least what it could be uh, but there's some rules that i wanted to um, get off my chest first, which will allow me then to speak freely in future episodes. One of the biggest ones, which is my motivation for making this, one of the biggest ones, which is why I made this one, is, is, is that the word should and could or have to or like you must, those are words so you can do whatever you want with your life. You know, I'll, I'll always be there for you. There's nothing you can do that would upset me or that I would, okay anything. You can do whatever you want with your life. What I'm trying to show you is how I raise myself and the rules that I followed, some of which were um, were wrong rules and had to be uh, corrected. And by the way, I have a stutter. Uh, we can talk about that more in the section called, uh, well, of another section that in which I speak about myself. But I have a stutter. And, you know, in short, the more honest I am, the more you'll notice a stutter. Uh, and the less honest I am is actually because I'm trying to like put on a voice so that's not quite myself so that I can escape, I, I can circumvent the stutter. So I guess this means I'm being honest. That's like the good, that's a good part of hearing the stutter. And also I'm a little nervous. 
But, uh, okay, where are we? Okay, should, could, would, you should, you must. I'm gonna use that word a lot, but that's only if you accept my sort of lifestyle and like the challenges that I've set for myself, the goals that I set for myself as a, as a kid. Otherwise, I would encourage you to not, you can do your own thing, you can live your own life. You know, most people are living selfish lives and while sometimes it does upset me because there's a lot of suffering that could be helped out, it's okay. It's like, I'd rather them, you know, put the oxygen mask on themselves and, you know, take care of themselves, that's okay. But when I say things like, um, uh, there's survivor's guilt that I experience because I want a genetic lottery to be born in a country that has you know, economic policies and safety that allow me to do things like this. And I know a lot of places uh, that don't. I feel a survivor's guilt there because I did not earn being born here, you see? And I'm all about like a meritocracy, but I didn't earn being born here. I, I just happened to be born here. Right now with where this is my favorite country, you'll be born here. You'll be born and raised here, but 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 I happen to win the genetic lottery there, and I've seen people who look you're pretty similar to me, same height, age, weight, everything, and they're born somewhere else, and they're just going to face a different future because of just where they were born, which is a really fascinating concept to me because it doesn't mean that they're any less or more able than me. They just didn't get the same start I did, and by the way, respectively, I there are people who have a wetter. Uh, who have a way better start than I do, who um, I'm, I'm not sure if they also feel survivor's guilt or anything like that, but, but you know, this is a concept that's like often in my mind when I, I have sections that I, you know, um, that I section off as being selfish or selfish. This is all a mess now. Sorry. Too many thoughts going on at once. <laughs> but, um, that's also like a part of the reason why I'm making this video is because that you know I I, I I sometimes have a hard time enjoying things in life because I'm thinking about somebody else who doesn't have the same shot I do and so because of that I feel that there's a responsibility on me to which much to who much is given much is expected and I find nothing worse than somebody who is given a lot they don't understand that they're given a lot they don't appreciate it they don't have the gratitude for it and then they do nothing with their lives I'm like Oof, that's that's uh, really disgusting to me. So, that being said, you don't have to do these things. You know, live your own life. Uh, but uh, I'm going to use the word should and you must, you know, only if you're going to follow like a path similar to my own, which I've noticed that a lot of people aren't, so that's okay. I, I, I think you should do your own and also maybe you'll um, enlighten me to a path that I you know, that I can't see right now. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was a mess, but, uh, I just want to get that off my chest because I don't want to keep saying that for every video, but for the first couple of videos, I'm going to be saying that just to remind ourselves. Okay. Okay, cool. So <sighs> how the curriculum is going to go in my head is the first section of it will be all about health. You know, let's get you healthy and understanding your body, your hormones, your physiology, you know, what you're putting into your body and why you feel a certain way, your brain, your muscles, tendons, everything, you know, cancer, disease, we'll talk about everything. Then to get wealthy, which is what a lot of people are focused on instead of their health, getting wealthy. There's a formula to get wealthy and there's a behavior that is necessary to get wealthy. The tragic thing is that most people stop at trying to get wealthy. They will chase that without ever asking why they're chasing money. So then a million becomes three million, a three million becomes eight million, eight million, and they keep going. But why? What's the point of that? And which is, which is the third part of this, which is the part that's most important to me and the part that I've focused on the most, which is to solve the universe. That's what I call it. Solve the universe, which is just, what is this all for? Ask those big existential questions that, you know, kids ask. Children who are natural born scientists ask these questions. They're very obvious. Uh, it's simple, easy questions, actually, you know, easy to um, enunciate questions. They're logical to ask these questions. Where does the sun go at night? Did it go away? What came before? How did the moon get here? I don't know why these are both space related. Where did I come from? Um, what is a church? Uh, how does that train work? You're just asking obvious questions. And I think you should keep asking those questions until you reach a logical 
end, like you keep, you know, chasing it back to what started first. And then you'll reach things like uh, the Big Bang or, you know, when did Homo sapiens arrive, which is what you are. Homo sapien. Uh, wise man or woman. Wise woman. Wise human. There's Homo habilis. Um, Homo fluorensis. Neanderthal. Denisovans, things like that. So you're Homo sapien, which means that you use your brain. Um, in all that we've ever studied in all the cosmos, if you look at like the Hubble Deep Field, and you, you go way, way back, it's all very beautiful, very complicated, very intricate. It's all, it all um, obeys the laws of uh, physics. But still, the most complicated thing we've ever found in the whole cosmos is right there, right in between your ears. There's a three pound gray matter right in between your ears. And we don't really have much idea how exactly it works. Uh, and so my studies have concluded that that's really all we need to be focusing on right now. Because everything that you experience is born from your brain, including you listening to this right now. Me speak, I'm speaking into a black lens, uh, hoping this reaches you. But this is all you know, born from my brain. And right now you're not here which I think is like a beautiful thing. It's just like an interesting thing that you're not here, but there's a whole world of people, about 8 billion people that are going through things, their relative stresses, trying to fall in love, trying to work, trying to get money, worried about getting sick, uh, you know, growing up, pu puberty, divorce, getting married, having kids, uh, just, you know, beautiful things. And you're not here right now, which is uh, there's something that I kind of love about that because I thought back to um, like the history that I studied, like the Iran... Uh, uh, hostage crisis or like the oil crisis okay i wasn't here for that or the moon landing or any of the stuff i wasn't here for it uh i look at like oh uh, i just mentioned now the hubble deep field but that was all worked on before i was even born and then when i'm born now i'm enjoying the images of it just like so that's what inspired the james webb um video that i made for you as a starter was because that got launched and you're not here yet but you'll see the images from it because other men and women worked on that before you were even here i th i think that's super cool which 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 also comes to i'm gonna pause for heater <laughs> might have a bunch of dog hair on it i'm not sure you're gonna be around when this dog's here but this is my dog buddy he's a beautiful golden retriever he's a little fat boy and he gets his hair everywhere because we play the same game whenever i walk into the house but uh, anyway, w one thing I want to say is that uh, life is uh, tremendously beautiful. I mean, really tremendously. It is... <laughs> being alive is the best. So many false starts here. Life is tremendously beautiful. And so I'm excited for you to experience it. And I mean beautiful, even the sadness. We're going to talk about some incredibly dark things. War, disease, famine, what humans can do to each other. Um, some incredibly dark things. But even in the darkness, there is a beauty to it. There's a poetry to it. And, and uh, you must know that you're a part of nature and also nature resides within you. So once you sort of have that, um, like a removed understanding of your existence, uh, I think you'll reach a level of, uh, I you know, hate using this word, but like enlightenment. You know, so many words kind of got ruined because they're now associated with some Hindu monk sitting on a mountain or somebody doing yoga. I don't know why they're both those things, but, uh, or your meditation, all these things. But this is, you know, all this is trying to get you at is to like observe yourself outside of your brain. Um, you can do that with the overview effect when you look at uh, the earth from space or even when you're in an airplane and you look down and go, you know, that's how small a car is and a hu I, you know, I can't even see a human. And so then you think about how the whole universe is being born from your brain as you go about. And uh, so that, that should give you some that should give you some pause and some insight and some you know, perspective that will put you above it, almost everyone else because right now everyone is so and this is you know calculated by the way and and uh this is uh designed this way by you know major companies and major governments uh to make us so myopic in our lives and just kind of seeing what we're seeing like you know we're only seeing our little so i i I'm going to keep I'm encouraging you through a lot of videos is to take a less myopic view of things. Step back as far as you can and look at the overall, um, look at the truth from a wide perspective, uh, you know, like you're a god, basically. And then you can make wise decisions from there and know how to conduct your life. One thing, you know, I won't teach you what to think. I can, which is what most people do. They'll you know, teach you what to think. You should think this. You should be this party. You should be... But, Instead, I would like to teach you, you know, as an educator, 
I've tried to always teach people how to think. And now that you have those tools, you use your brain to uh, decipher the world. And uh, I would hope that you would, you know, challenge me a lot. That would be a lot of fun. That's why I uh, sign off on a lot of these videos, Jake, instead of dad, because I, I want you to think of me and of men as you know equals so that you're not afraid of anybody uh, older men or anything you know these are all people that are <laughs> confused they may look older and have more grays and you know more wrinkly but they're they're, you know, they're still kids to me um i've seen younger people who know more than a 90 year old and so it, it's like i don't re I, le I don't respect how many grays or anything is on your head or how many zeros in your bank account or whatever i want to hear your brain and I'm you know, trying to get to questions that would help like elicit someone's brain so that I can understand them so that they feel comfortable opening up and things like that. But the goal here is to get you as strong as I possibly can and then have you almost n never have to use that strength until absolutely necessary. You know, our fights, and this is like one of those, you know, must things. It's This is, you know, my fight, so you can join if you wish. It'd be nice if you did, but you don't have to. Our fights are for the big dogs, you know? We reserve our strengths for, like, the real, you know, titans out there, which we know how to handle. But the small things we can, you know, that's for lesser brains. That also brings me to a point of why I even started this, is that um, there's a lot of um, fake, phony, snake oil charlatans out there that are just selling crappy, horrible products to very weak brains. And there's a calculated move in the world economy to make people dumber and dumber and dumber and dumber and dumber such that they don't have their own you know critical faculties to like assess the world uh you know like uh, like the news has become a business running for office has become a business as a four-year presidential term and we talk about them running for three out of the four years it's like it's just like you know hijacking all the time that where we can have you know joy with each other which is the whole point of you know being alive is to solve the universe and to you know, fraternize with each other and to go make friends and things like that so so uh, you know we're going to go through all this don't worry this it's a it's a big library and you can check it out as you wish um but yeah it's like never been easier to be smart and to be charming and to be you're capable just because there's like a calculated effort to make everyone so weak and like anemic uh, uh, so weak and uh, you know docile and it's uh, you know sad to see but this is like the fight against that there's a quote by Bertrand russell which um i'll put up somewhere here and that you know this quote spoke to me because while all these less capable but more violent people who are ready to advertise rest the mic away from the more moral wise and noble uh, then they're uh then they're brainwashing the public with uh with a lie it's not true um i don't want to name names because i don't want to give them any you know credit here but you'll know who and also these people won't matter when you're here because they, if you study history you'll see that there's always somebody like them throughout history uh so it's not new to people like me but for people who aren't you know well read or anything it, it, it's like new like this is some new shiny thing but the ogs kind of you know, like recognize oh you know like i've seen this you know pattern before this happens every generation so that's that's one of my goals with you is like to get you i'll give you an example i've been studying government and politics since i was 13 12 or 13 like in depth um and so when people are older now getting into it because they're buying a house or getting married like yeah, okay like i know you're getting into it now because it like matters to you but i have you know 20 years over and some of my you know contemporaries have you know, 20 years over you so now you see a cycle uh, just like that, because I have one cycle over them with that, I felt like if I made this library for you, you'd have one cycle over me. So you could start with the truth from the beginning so that there's no you know, fiction there. And so that'll give you even longer to kind of operate and to uh, solve the universe with me. Um, also, yeah, there's a, there's a mitochondrial Eve thing, but I can save that for another one. Uh, our goal is to think, or my goal is to think in... Uh, in the 30th century that's that's how my mind works and i uh, w uh a big theme here is for you to uh, protect your brain right now there are stimuli from all directions just smut just 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 like a putrid feed of like you're like a farm animal uh and people just like willingly accept it I, i'm not sure why they're not able to recognize this it's just like disgusting um they're all being and they're all essentially being being you know like programmed in this way and you know groomed i guess is the word uh it's like weird and it's strange and it's super creepy and i can see and i feel like other people can't see it or maybe they can uh so the goal is you know 
one of the things that I'll keep telling you is to, you know, protect your brain, protect your brain, protect your brain from all things, from me too, you know, challenge me. I'm, uh, uh, you, show me evidence, let's box. In the beginning, I may win a lot. That's, just only, that's only because I, I've, that's only because I've been around longer than you. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm smarter than you and you'll have youth on your side and you can show me things that maybe I have, you know, aged out of. And so that's a good thing, you know, you know, like consider us equals. Um, at the end, I'll always be your dad, so I can always take that, you know, 1% charge if you want. Uh, you know, that's always like a safety net. But, uh, you know, consider us equals even from the start. And you challenge me and let's box. And I hope that you end up smarter and wiser and more capable and like you do more things than me. That would be awesome. With everything that I have, you keep, you know, compounding on that. Just like I did from uh, the giants on whose shoulders I stand from the past. So, okay. All right. Um, I think I said the world is beautiful thing. Meet, uh, yeah, you're going to meet amazing people. You're going to meet amazing people, all my friends, family, hopefully your grandma, grandpa. You know, smallest case scenario, this is just a library that I put out there. Maybe something will happen to me and I'll never see you and you'll never be here. That's okay. It's just another thing in the, you know, cacophony that is the internet. And, you know, best case scenario, I think there's almost limitless upside to this. I kind of wanted to do this also as a net to meet like-minded people. I feel like they're out there. There must be out there. I'm like losing hope, but I know they must be out there. Um, and I don't want to go through any of these, you know, sites or go to certain places to go meet people. I just, I want to kind of have this out there. And if somebody um, uh, feels that they might be, you know, like-minded and they want to work on something together, they can reach me via, uh, via email. So, and that's for you out there who's not my daughter, I guess I'll quickly say this. I'm not on the bad side of the internet, so I don't know how this stuff works. I don't check the comments. I'm not on social media. And I like delayed this for so long because I was trying to do it without that. And then the people that I brought on were like, you just need to bite the bullet and go do it. Uh, I've you know protected my brain from that stuff. So I'm very trepidatiously, I'm very nervously, very cautiously re-entering this field that I don't want to enter. But... Uh, I hope uh, I'll experience something that I didn't expect and maybe it'll be way better than I think. They say I, they say it, it takes a village to raise someone. So this could kind of be the village, kind of be the you know community. And uh, I just want to work on a product together. You know, maybe this could end up being like a company or something like that. Uh, th that is moral and wise and that is timeless and that is not short-termist. Right now, all these you know, products are really just them selling you some kind of you know pump and dump scheme it's short-termist and uh that's why people feel bad that's why there there's anxiety depression like a lot of violence all these things is because the products and the it's because the products are unnecessary and the uh, community is non-existent in a lot of these places and you can't override nature here honey that's one thing is that you can't override nature you can't override physics you can only work within the confines of them of them and so the good thing there that I'll always um, encourage you on all these videos is to what I call explore your explore your pantry look in your pantry and see what you're you're capable of doing how your mind is capable of your thinking and then you know come back to uh, your your foundational elements there I used to have these uh, I had black students and white students and upon their graduation I would ask them uh, alright so what do you want to be you know when you grow up and the bl the white kids named 700 jobs, jobs I haven't even heard of. They kept going and going and going. I was like, all right, that's enough. Stop, 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 stop. Good. Then I asked the black kids, what do you want to be? And some of them said, uh, rapper, basketball player, and my dad owns a production company. Maybe I'll go work for him. And I don't think they understood the magnitude of what happened there. I asked two humans, both male, both the same age. The only difference is the color of their skin. Everything else is the same. The height, everything is the same. And one person could see like a limitless universe the other person could only see three and that's not his fault it's that no one had shown him how large the world is and how large his your pantry is and how large the library is and i heard a couple of your interviews recently from you know wise people that i look up to where they go somebody finally gave me like permission but like i needed to hear that you know permission and then i was able to go do things so to whoever needs to hear it but i'm speaking to you honey uh, you have my permission. You can go do that thing. Like whatever the strange thing is that you think is in your field or is in our field, you know, let's go explore it. I'm going to show you how to explore it and how to do so 
wisely to go save the most amount of time and see if it you know, works for you or not and then how to come back to you know basics if you need to and but you know go explore be a pioneer go from zero to one uh, create something out of nothing you have the permission to do whatever you want dream i i hate the word dream because i think uh, you know logically and so it's just a pl- I, I i think the word is i think the word dream is detrimental because it means that it's out of reach but instead you just gotta you have to think like an engineer and I'll, I'll i'll go through all this in a different episode but like you know say something crazy and have everyone laugh at you but then you can work towards that and see if you can get something that they didn't even expect for example Say something that makes you sound insane. I want to have lunch on the surface of the sun. Everyone's going to be like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> you know, do you know how the sun works? What, what are you talking about? You're like a stupid person. But if you kind of think outside the box like that and be like, wait a second, why did I say something? You end up playing golf on the moon, which is what we did, by the way. We played golf on the moon and drove <laughs> four-wheelers on the moon. So I know you didn't have lunch on the sun, but if I had started by saying, I, I want to play golf on the moon, uh, I want to play golf on the moon, and maybe people would have thought, that's crazy. So sometimes saying the crazy thing is okay because it just kind of gets your mind in a mindset of like how much of that is actually like attainable according to the laws of physics, according to engineering and my biology and uh, and then and then you know reach for the stars you'll end up among the sun. There's some you know saying like that. Um, all right, <laughs> some mess, huh? Yeah, I, I you know I, I have a feeling we're gonna look back at this era right now and. Uh, you view it as uh, the dark ages because you know every era thinks that they're at the frontier of humanity and the frontier of technology but then we look back and we go well, those are the dark ages you know those are strange times right now we're still conducting wars we're still killing children there's still famine uh, it's just, there's uh, uh, there's some um, extreme narcissism now which you know there's a reason for that psychologically but I think we're going to look back and go, this was the Dark Ages too. So so our goal, if you choose to accept it, is to think in like the 30th century. What would that life be uh, look like? What could we like eradicate that needs eradicating? What do we do about energy? Um, and, you know, I have a product in mind for the end of all that stuff. Uh, and it's also like me dreaming about having lunch on the sun. It's just like a crazy idea. But it it makes logical sense to me as I've, you know, ran it through my head, uh, in my head for years. It just makes sense. But we can talk about all that down the line. Also, at the end, you know, should I feel comfortable with all this stuff? Because uh, I'm, you know, very nervous to... Uh, I don't respond to seeing your comments and stuff like that because I don't know who those people are. I'm like a very visual person. Like I want to see them and, you know, press the flesh sort of thing. So it's a little weird for me to do anything with the internet. But uh, um, there's a reason why I... Uh, there's another reason why I made this channel for you. I think I'll probably tell you in real life versus here. I don't... Uh, it's a little too private. But uh, we'll just see how it goes. We'll just like assess it, you know, week by week and month by month. And there's so many goals I have for this channel. If, if if I were to dream, you know, wildly, which is to shoot things around the world with, you know, different families. I have a show idea called My Town, Your Town. Um, I sail, I fly. So, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to sail, how to fly, how to get on a TV show. I'll, I'll teach you all about biology, quantum mechanics, physics how to shoot uh how to hunt um how to cook um how to write about your body uh your death love sex birth everything well we'll, there's no subject that's off limits and uh if you ever want to talk i'm always here you don't have to come up and say you know hey dad uh i have this thing right away but let's have like a code word uh we can say the word we can say the word pickle if you want to, or, you know, you could choose a word, but if you just say that or show me a pickle or show me a picture of a pickle, I'll know that, you know, something's up and we can just sit and just kind of, you know, dance and kind of, you know, box and see what happens. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get somewhere that I, I don't want you to feel uncomfortable because like, because like everything should be talked about drugs, alcohol, rape, murder, war, all these things, because like the uncomfortable thing, when you talk about it and you understand it, then you know what to expect and you can, you plan for it. And you can, you know, the reason why a lot of people in the world, freak out is because they don't know the truth so then when they see some version of the truth they go oh my god how could that happen but if you know the truth you then you know sort of what to expect here <clears throat> so yeah i'm excited for this channel i'm excited for you it's, it's a beautiful world and it's going to be even more beautiful when you're in it uh, there's a lot of people out here who are doing really well and there's just amazing people you're going to meet my friends my family and a lot of strangers you know everybody has something to offer uh any and even the dark stuff itself is beautiful because life itself is 
it's just incredibly beautiful and it's very fleeting but but uh let's 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 uh start small <laughs> take care of your health get you wealthy solve the universe and let's see where this channel goes for you okay as i get slowly more comfortable in front of the camera i don't know if that's ever going to happen uh oh and if you're not my daughter following along i guess i'm supposed to ask for this stuff but i feel uncomfortable doing it uh if you wanna uh, so i have a lot of relations in hollywood and so um you know strong relations so if you want we can make a show out of this uh, with apple or you know netflix or discovery or cbs or you know whatever so i guess they want to see traction if you want to like sub and all that stuff you can uh, but i'd also say in the same breath uh to you know protect your brain like i said earlier so extract what you want out of this and then and then and then you put the phone away go outside in nature go meet people you know Go talk up, you know, like a cute stranger or an old lady or an old man or go say hi to a kid or go, you know, pet a dog. Go get some sunlight, get some exercise, uh, you know, meditate, get a good night's sleep, eat something clean, uh, all the good things, okay? So you don't have to do any of that stuff. I don't I don't care. Um, and, you know, come back to, uh, to me when you need to or when you want to. And maybe I won't be here either. I don't know. Maybe I'll take some time away too. But, but you know, protect your brain first. I don't care about the sub stuff. I don't, I don't care. This is, uh, oh, that's another thing to my daughter is like Hollywood is a lot of uh, hype and a lot of meetings, you know, meetings for meetings for meetings. And then we get excited, so many meetings. And I've now, you know, I've now, uh, I've now you know, been in that industry for so long. I'm like, that's enough. Like, I know the hype when I see it. So my North Star, you know, no matter what, this train keeps going, honey. This is just you and me. Okay. It's just, it's just a future father making a library for his future daughter, hopefully for his future daughter, you know, um, and I don't care who gets on or off the train. Uh, you're my North Star, okay? You're my uh, Polaris, um, despite procession. And uh, um, so train keeps going for you. I don't care about who's on board, sponsorships, or now we're waiting for this to be. I don't. I I don't care. <laughs> we're just gonna shoot the way I want to shoot. This is my you know creative uh, you know release, and uh, it's uh, just for you, okay? So that's that. Let's see what else I got on the list. Whew. I'm in a fasting state. I've been fasting for a bit. Then I like worked out a bunch, so I'm stabbing, and I can't wait to eat. I'm gonna make uh, uh, this awesome food and a, like a bunch of protein. We'll show you how to get really healthy, really clean, and and just you know feel great every day. I'm excited to show you that. Um, it's your grandma's birthday, or it was, and I couldn't figure out a gift. She stole my gift. So me and my me and your grandma have the same birthday. Um, and she stole my gift idea. So now I was like, yo, you can't just take my gift idea and give it to me. Uh, so anyway, what I usually do for the leading ladies in my life, uh, which is basically just her and like my girlfriend at the time, was uh, I just, you know, if they like this, I just give them my credit card and go, here, go nuts. Uh, you know, <laughs> $1,000 limit. But uh, so that's that's it. I, um, I took her for an appointment this morning and... Uh, uh, then I bought everyone breakfast. I didn't have any yet, but I bought everyone breakfast. And then I was like, here's here's my credit card. Go do what you want to do. Uh, it's usually like hair, mani-pedi, uh, things like that. Uh, we'll see how much it comes out to. I was like, just save the receipts, but here's a credit card. Go nuts. Have cra uh, Go crazy. Yeah, so I said a thousand bucks. When you're here with inflation, that may be like, you know, nothing, nothing, but yeah. All right, well... I think that's mostly everything, yeah. So yeah, uh, you know, this first week or this first month will be a bit rocky as I try to get comfortable and I've already, you know, shot a lot of things so it's kind of out of date, out of time, but um, I think it's, I think we talk about health, wealth and uh, how to solve the universe. You know, early on, one of the earliest lessons we're going to give you is actually kind of dark for most people, but it's just the truth, which is about death and you should know what death is and as uh, I believe Socrates are Plato said you should practice dying and that'll inform how to behave. So we'll talk about a lot of, you know, philosophy and um, run some, you know, thought experiments. And uh, the goal here is to be honest and to be truthful. And I love to fail and I'll explain what that means. You know, we'll keep failing and failing and failing because that means that we're getting closer to the truth and the truth and the truth and the truth. And if you have the courage, you'll be able to see the truth. And most people just kind of keep their heads in the sand and just, you know, la 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 and are in denial of the truth but if you want to join me in this uh we have to be honest and just assess data you know when it comes to this we don't really exist we are just observers of the data and um without 
evidence or data it's still just like a hope or something like that or you know faith or something like that, but but that's not how i operate i'll i'll then share like another side of me which is like what i wish and what i hope would be true but uh largely all i speak about is data and how to think logically and we're going to really um speak about what it means to be smart and what it means to be wise and what it means to be successful and how to get there and how to keep you know control of your brain and stuff um i've helped out a lot of people in my life and some people have helped me out um, I've never really had a mentor or I've had a mentor and then outgrown them, which is not a bad thing. It just means that you're getting stronger and stronger. Uh, so, you know, consider me one of your mentors, but I hope that we help each other. Okay. I'm always here for you and I hope you're always there for me. There's nothing you can do that would ever surprise me or shock me. I've seen it all. I've experienced it all on purpose so that I could have experiences and all that stuff. And then I came back and drew some conclusions from it. So there's nothing, you know, just say the word, you know, pickle. I've seen it all. There are some things in time that are just, you know, timeless. It's the same thing in the year 1000 or in the year zero or the year 2000 BC that are now, you know, like a boy will love a girl or somebody's afraid to get old or you want to hope there's something out, you know, certain things are, are, are timeless. And one of my leading, you know, tenants as a kid was to only do timeless things. Anyway, no, but I, I'm I'm excited because it's like so much world for you to see and learn and experience and uh, being alive is awesome. You're going to love it. It's the best. And you're going to meet a lot of people and you'll probably be in like a leadership you know, position. It's like naturally how I speak to people. You, like you try to be, you know, magnanimous and try to, that's, that's, that's born from experience. You know, when you meet a lot of, when you meet a lot of people and you experience a lot, you'll naturally try to, I don't know. I just have always been that way since I was a kid. So I assume that you'll get some of that from me. We'll see how your mother is. And, and, and it could also be fun to kind of go on some, you know, dates and stuff. Like I have some, you know, dates recorded and, well, not, you know, recorded, but I was like, you know, how I felt, how I felt like before and then how I felt after, things like that. So it's like a little bit of like a how I met your mother thing. We have some show ideas we want to do called like My Town, Your Town, which is where like I pay for like a whole weekend wherever you live. So say like uh, cool 20 year olds in, Seoul, Korea, or like a Quaker community in uh, in you know, Pennsylvania, or like the Maasai tribe in Kenya, or like the Inuits in Greenland, or something. It's just like going to different cities, to hamlets, to villages, and just kind of comparing what a weekend is like, how people have fun, what they believe in, do they get um, inebriated, do they pray together, do they break bread together, what are like the customs, what are the cultures here, and then kind of, you know, compare them against each other. Uh, that's a show idea, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to, you know, conclude this because I just enjoy talking to you. Once I get settled in, that start was a mess, huh? Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun, babe. All right, uh, you look good. You look great. You're very beautiful and you're very smart. You're wicked smart, and uh, you're very capable. And I'm excited to see. You grow up and I'm excited to see what you do. You know, what's also cool about this is you could be like nine when you see these videos or you could be 90 and I could be gone. You know, it's just kind of interesting how you'll like revisit, you know, hopefully revisit some videos as you go on. All right, I'm gonna shut up as you'll get used to. I'm long-winded and I have no way to speak uh, more tersely. Alrighty. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm going to go. All right. I love you and I love you. I'm going to eat.